Hi everyone, today we have an underboard swap repair for the iPhone 11 Pro. The problem with the device is that it has no EMA. First I'm separating the boards using a JC eye heater probe. Now that the boards are separated, I need some chips of the old underboard that we are going to transfer to the new one. I'm starting to remove the underfill from the chips that I need. Underfill is a sort of glue that Apple uses to keep the chip in place. In order to remove the chip, we have to remove the underfill first. Usually when there is underfill around the chip, there is also underfill under the chip, so be careful when removing one. After I've removed the underfill, we can proceed to apply some flux and then use the heat gun at 380 degrees celsius to desolder the baseband CPU. Now we have to repeat this process for the Wi-Fi IC. In total there are three chips that need to be transferred. The baseband CPU, the Wi-Fi IC and the EEPROM. The EEPROM is optionally done by soldering, the problem however with this chip is that it's made from glass. This makes it very fragile. The board swap will fail entirely if you fail to correctly transfer this chip. This is why many repairers copy the EEPROM baseband data with a JC programmer. This way they don't have to transfer the chip, which saves a lot of headaches. Now that we have the chips desoldered, let's clean them up a bit. I'm using some wick with rosin and the soldering station to clean up the pads on the chip. Let's make them nice and shiny. Clean up the mess with some q-tips and alcohol. I have my reballing stencil here that I will place over the chip. Now I will apply some soldering paste and hold it in place with my tweezers. Now using the heat gun I'll melt the soldering paste to form new soldering balls on the chip. I'm gonna do the same on the baseband CPU. The solder wasn't coming off that easily, so I applied some low melt solder and tried again. I'm repeating the reballing process for this chip as well. Here I have a CNC underboard for the iPhone 11 Pro. CNC basically means the chips on this motherboard were removed with a powerful laser. This also means that there is still underfill around the chip's pads. I'm also cleaning the pads of any residue solder before I start. Now let's remove the underfill. After that, I'm just cleaning up with some alcohol and q-tips. Now it's time to place our reballed chips. Now that they are placed, I'm going to clean off all the solder of the layers. Once that is done, we're going to reball these layers. I'm melting the soldering paste using the heat gun at 380 degrees.
Then I will apply some flux and place the boards back in the JCI heater. Let the eye heater do its job for a bit and after that let it cool down. After this I'll also make sure all the layers are connected everywhere. As you can see, this phone now has its IMA back. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more. That was it for today, till next time.